two tons of morphine, he'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Man, shut the shut up! Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Homicide guys are already inside. Rakowski, Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LA Noir. I'm a little bit stuffy today. This is the last case in the vice unit. The last case, and we'll be getting promoted to the last unit of the story. So after this, we got six more cases to go. I'm going to try to have this shit down before Wednesday, possibly Tuesday, when a new game comes out. But god damn. They shot my man to pieces. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. At least. Damn, he got the Batman. He got the Wu Tang uh, joint on his head. Oh damn! All right. So the, basically, this is this is trying to discover where the morphine came from and stuff. But you'll see. Um, you'll understand soon. You'll understand. All right. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. All right, we got some matches. You can tell me what's going on. Sometimes the matches are important because they have like a brand on it, and then sometimes they're not. We don't want to talk to her yet. How you doing? Oh, I bet you're smoking. All right, what the fuck is it with the cigarettes? Which exhibit was this? That's exhibit A. I'm gonna check the other room here in a second. All right, let's check this room here. God damn, they, yo, they shot the hell out of these people. Kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. So this guy here was, um, like Cole knows him. Oh, he has nothing here. Let's check his inside pockets. There's always some good information on the inside pockets. What about this one? Damn, Eddie! Eddie, you ain't got no clues on you, Eddie. They didn't even try to crack the safe. They left the money in. That's crazy. All right. I mean, let's double check him and make sure we didn't miss anything. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, Eddie. You didn't leave me anything, Eddie. Wait a minute. What was that? Absolutely nothing but bearing a cigarette. Z exhibit B. Well maintained. Custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Let's make sure we we investigate all these pieces. See if there's any of that morphine. That Neat 
trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. I think I've seen it all. Yeah. Alright, here we go. We got a blue room ticket. We could probably use this. We should follow up on the musician angle. Alright, let's pick up the other stuff. He kept his stash close at hand. Right, um, the drug game was just so crazy with these musicians. Like, even today. And they got y'all goofy asses singing and dancing about doing uh, drugs and shit. Y'all didn't even know it. Motherfuckers, it's goofy as hell. Okay, we so we, we're done with that. All right, exhibit C. Here. Tell you what though, my brother right, he died, he died clean as fuck though. Died looking clean as hell. They usually they usually make you look clean after you die. Put the suit on and all of that. I just seen the picture with the dude still on his motorcycle at his funeral and shit. We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Excuse me. I had a stupid notification popping up on the computer screen. You got anything in this other pocket we need to know about? All right, we got nothing. And let's check this last room in here. Hopefully we get the last clue that we looking for in here. Cause the music is still playing. That means we ain't done. Dozen packs to a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. He's relevant at all. Oh, yep. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? All right, so we just got all the clues. Army the music is dubbed playing. Let's go ahead and interview baby girl over here. You know what I'm saying? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Well, I didn't ask you all that. I just got two simple questions for you. Answer them. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? That's better. But I know when you lie. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. All right, that's a steady face right there. All right, I believe you. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. All right, looks like we're going to try to head over to, what was it, the blue room or whatever? Let's head over to the next spot. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. 
or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone footer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. After he said, good thing we don't, all I heard was Don DeMar <laughs> Don DeMarco. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. What the f what was she doing in the back though? Fam, her poker face is excellent, yo. I don't know. Let's let's use an intuition point. This is only like the third time we had to use this. Alright, 80% say doubt. Alright, we'll go with doubt. But look at her face. Like, look at that shit. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies black man buys. Man, shut the shut up! Ain't nobody interviewing you. Stay in your lane, sir. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, first of all, you use morphine. All right, we see the doctor give you someone. We the first scene you was on the on the shit. So we gonna go with doubt, cause she, yeah. Look at her face. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys. Take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Nagodic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Tell you right now, if I fail, I <laughs> just accept it. All right, well, for right now, we gotta try to tell this taxi up here. Boy, this music on here is so smooth. Probably should have checked my corners, but it ain't. Stay back, so. Ahead and turn. Looks like she's getting ready to make the left turn. What attack? Oh! Get back. Get back. Alright, that's better. 
My bad, bro. The thing with this is you want to make sure you do not turn your sirens on. If you turn your sirens on, you're going to let them know, obviously. Manif oh! Ben, risk of Manifest trail. Destiny. I think that's the name of the mission. Is this where we're going? LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Would you recommend the special? Well, 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 Cole, what were you doing at her house? Hmm? Special? Mr. Cohen's table. Yeah. And your partner knew too. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? Goddamn Harry thinks he could get fresh whenever he pleases. Interesting, huh? 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 He just refuses to accompany me to church. LAPD. I can't decide. We have some questions. Hi, Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite like remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver oh, Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Would you like something to eat? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Come on, man. We know, we just gonna pick Dow both times, because we already seen him earlier he's a piece full of shit come on man so i'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment lenny god rest his soul was a moron he was family though and i haven't made a beef about that so count yourself lucky kid would you like something to the eat? h is a filthy habit and i don't condone it the simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down so you don't know where he got the morphine kid ask a question you might get an answer to we believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. 
One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So why are you smiling like it's funny? So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's oh, finest God. feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. I'll bring you Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. You have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolidge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? A case of BARs, a case of Thompsons, a crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. That bum so, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I Enough to arm three companies. Yeah, I'm thinking Here's of our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Down one round. This is the crate we recovered. I've been in this job Half a million surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Sniper though. No damn sniper. A sniper. It's probably reckless for me to be just running up there like that. We gotta find a way to get up to the dude. Alright, is there a pipe or something that we can climb up to get up there? I don't really I do remember getting up there, I just don't remember how I did it. There's a ladder right there. We gonna kill this bitch because he shot my damn hat off. Let's go, Cole. Can't even see us. 
Whoever hired this dude knew he was a dumbass. He ain't never gonna get out of this. Drop the gun now. Why did you? Why did you just come up on him and just shoot him? Killed that dude in one shot. Can I, be, can I take his gun? That is nice. I didn't even shoot him that many times. I shot him one time. What's all these these holes and shit? All right, I just want to go in your pockets. I know you ain't got nothing else. What's in the other pocket? Though? Phone number and restaurant table. Is that all we needed? Nope, I missed something. All right, look at his other. Oh, what, what other clue we missing? Go back in his pocket. We missed something. Pull that out one more time. Matter of fact, nah. We didn't even investigate the gun. There we go. That's the, the VARs. One of the same guns that they took from the club, I guess. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. I asked you all that. 300, shut up. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Well, his pocketbook. Um. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Boy, you look and sound like Nipsey Hussle. Uh... Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. You expect me to believe that, sir? I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective.
Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Well, they they don't really like each other. If you've seen any of the cutscenes earlier, because Cole's an that? asshole. Standing around doing nothing, you look shell shocked. Bro, that tie you got a Pepsi tie on, fam. That's what we wear. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Well, first of all, we see you in the cutscenes with Sheldon trying to punk the dude, so we know that's a lie. So we don't have evidence in our notebook, but I'm gonna go with doubt. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Ah! I say truth. Eyes are straight at me. All right. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I'm looking at Cole's reaction. I'm looking at his face. It looks the same as the last question. I'm going to go with truth again. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Bro, I'm going some questions, bro. Just ask a couple questions, you can tell me. All right? Ty's terrible. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Motherfucker, I didn't ask you that shit! And now your face is a little bit different than the last two questions when you were telling the truth. Therefore, I conclude... <laughs> doubt, and you salty, fam. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Do you call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting, Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? He just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. 
Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let me, first of all, let me flank these people. Unless my partner kills them. But you know, your partners is worthless on this game. So they ain't gonna do shit. My flank guy. Climb over. Cole, thank you. Down. What, what guy? Oh, that's one of the BARs right there, huh? That was too easy. That was, that was ice cream. That was way too easy. Now, see what you was doing. You try to drive away. Look at you now. Look at you. Matter of fact, now put his arm down. We don't need to look at his arm. Just open up his pockets. See what you got in your pockets, bro. There's a meeting. Oh, meeting with Sheldon tonight. All right, so now we know they got a meeting tonight at 9 o'clock. And we're going to show up to their meeting. He got anything else? What about his other pocket there? He does. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. What? All right. Well, have a great day, sir. I'll see you later. Fast. Hey, there's a newspaper. Let's watch this. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. We got another shootout and you see my partner is basically set me up so you just saw that that, that was, that's a big that's a big cut scene because that tells us he definitely been smashing that German chick from the uh, from the jazz club all right we're not I ain't ready to move up just yet hold on where are bro we got all right, I'm ready now I'm going in fellas I'm going in there we go. I kind of want one of those other guns, the bigger ones. Ball. Oh, I will shoot you. Keep moving. Shot that bitch right in his head. He gone, baby. Gone. Alright, get a little closer. Is, it, is there a better gun for me? Nah, it ain't. Yo, did Roy kill anybody? That's my question. Where's this guy? Oh. 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 Yo, 
gonna hit it and shoot you in the head, fam. Have a great. I shot him in his ear. Shot that bitch in the ear, though. Okay, let's go ahead and check the body. <coughs> Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. For the truth. God. Bro, he, he died with the jump scare face and shit. Polar Bear Ice Company. It really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? There gotta be another body in here. Well, this dude. There we go. Nah. Check them pockets. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Not no more. They all, they damn gone, baby. They gone. All right, what about your other pocket? Do you have something in here? Juicy, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Getting close, and steer him off the... I had my partner driving when the cutscene's over, all of a sudden now I'm driving. Let's see if we can shoot them, Step get the tire shot out. Just get me a little closer. Get How close? Woo! Damn, that turn though! I wasn't even ready for that. Alright, get closer. I might want to play a racing game soon. Or, uh, something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe in the next I'll try to the few weeks or something. Down. We shall see. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. There you go. Put your motherfucking hands in the air, sir. Put him in the air. I said, put him in the air. Don't shoot. Golly. That was supposed to show up showed up except for us. The vice unit. Call now. I didn't even see him up there. I need a better gun than this. As a matter of fact, I think I can get a better gun out of the trunk if I remember how. How do you? Let's see what we got. We got that. We got a rifle. Oh no, this is a shotgun. I don't really. Oh, wait, no, this will do. This will definitely do. I really miss both shots. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Take some cover. Cole, take some cover right here. Couple more shots and we are down. Oh, my God. More. Damn, he damn you trying to give an oil change and shit, you see him? Oh damn! They're making a run for it after them! Stay in trouble! This is definitely the longest shootout. Look at this. Get your dumb ass off that goddamn pipe over there! What the fuck are you doing? 
He thought he was going to climb all the way up the pipe slowly and we weren't going to clean his ass up. Here we go, got a guy on the other roof over there. I'm going to put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. Roy. In my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap! No buts. This is more important. I just wish he'd hurry up and put Mary on. says he'll sing, but... You're in interview too, Phelps. I guarantee he'll walk. There's a quack in there with... Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Has anyone seen my pen? No. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. 
You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Land changed by war and